You're watching a two-minute USMLE tidbit by Elite Medical Prep, where we rapidly cover a high-yield USMLE topic and then show you how it applies elsewhere on the test. Here we have a challenging USMLE step one style question with a long vignette, but today we aren't going to methodically break down this question. Instead, we're going to do a more focused review of a small topic and show you how it applies to other topics on the USMLE. When we look closely at this vignette, we can see that the key pieces of information suggest a diagnosis of hypertensive cardiomyopathy. In hypertensive cardiomyopathy, the left ventricle is seeing increased systemic blood pressure such that each time it pumps blood, it has to generate higher pressures in order to produce forward flow of blood. How do the cardiac myocytes compensate for this increased pressure known as preload? The cell's hypertrophy, which is distinctly different from cell hyperplasia, which is an increase in the number of cells. Remember that for the most part, the heart does not grow new cardiac myocytes, just like the brain does not grow new neurons. However, while the number of myocytes doesn't increase, there's hyperplasia of the cellular components of the cardiac myocyte. Structures such as mitochondrion and components of the sarcomere increase in number. Increased protein production relies on genetic upregulation, which also occurs. So to summarize, increased resistance to outflow leads to hyperplasia of cell contents and hypertrophy of the cardiac myocytes so they can generate more pressure with each systole. For comparison, it is instructive to look at how this differs from the response to in dilated cardiomyopathy. In this case, a myriad of insults can occur to the myocytes causing their death or dysfunction. The heart responds with scarring and other cellular changes and the viable cardiac myocytes lengthen in order to increase the volume of the left ventricle. Basically, since the heart can't pump as efficiently as before, it compensates by trying to work at a higher volume per heartbeat. So the takeaway from this topic is the following. First, Cardiac myocytes can hypertrophy, but their intracellular components can become hyperplastic, so avoid confusing these two processes. Second, because there are so many causes of dilated cardiomyopathy, sometimes it may be easier to learn the causes of hypertrophic and restrictive cardiomyopathies, which we didn't discuss in this vignette, and so therefore, sometimes it's easier to learn what doesn't cause a particular disease or syndrome than what does cause it. You've been watching a two-minute USMLE tidbit from Elite Medical Prep. If you'd like to learn more about our one-on-one -on -one tutoring services, please contact us at info at elitemedicalprep.com, check out our website www.elitemedicalprep.com, or call us at 508-928-7737. Let us know how our team of Ivy League caliber tutors can help you achieve the score improvement you've been working so hard for.